Hello, welcome to Cadaver TV. It's the age of the offended and I have invited other artists to come to me and talk about the age of the offended. Not necessarily my album, but the age we live in. So, welcome, Victoria Racing from Witch Club Satan. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me and uh, thank you for this new single that you just uh, released. It was a pleasure to wake up to this morning. Thank you very much. So I'm kind of curious because you're a different generation than me, up and coming black metal artist from Norway. And uh, what is the age of the offended to you? I think that I am not afraid of the offended, nor of the offender. I think um, it, is, um, it is a good thing that people are offended. And I think it's a good thing that people use their voice to uh, speak up against what they are, if they feel offended. But I also think we should not be afraid of offending if that is coming from a place uh, of what we need to say. Uh, I am not interested in provoking just to provoke, but if the provocation comes from a place that feels necessary and that is in line with my values, I think it is important to not fear uh, the provocation. So, I'm thinking one aspect of this for me is that a lot of people are kind of afraid to uh, acknowledge uh, different points of view and uh, one thing which is really important for me at least is that we live in a world with different opinions, different viewpoints, but when it comes to certain facts we have to agree, but now I feel that also the, all the facts are gone, all the knowledge are gone. So in my generation it was very very important to know certain things. Mm -hmm. But what I find now is that uh, it seems to be less and less about knowing things and more and more about just assuming that somebody else is right. What happened to thinking for yourself? Knowledge is a lot more available. I didn't even grow up with the internet, but it came during my teenage life. And I think that you are always able to find the facts, but the question is rather how you deal with the information that you have and that is interesting. One thing which I find interesting about your band is that uh, the name of the band is Witch Club Satan. Mm -hmm. It's very specific. Witch Club Satan consists of the, the three words. Uh, we are witches and we are, we are partly here to tell the story of our dead ancestors. We think they have something to say from the other side. We want to reclaim the label witch because I think it is empowering to be a witch. And I do not think that should be um, shameful or a bad thing to be a witch. And we want to be a club, we want to be a witch club because we want to create um, a society, a movement where people can feel invited, which I find in the black metal scene as a whole. And we want to continue that tradition of being a place where people can meet and feel together. We are also uh, kind of um, in a tradition where Satan has it, its um, place. So how about Satan? Do you believe that there is a guy named Satan? 
I do not believe in any guy called Satan or God, but I believe in powers. I believe in nature and people. Have you gotten any reactions from people about your band and the image that you find offensive yourself? No, uh, there are many people who um, have had opinions about our bands and who doesn't like it or, or feel offended by it uh, or disturbed probably. But that is not a problem to me as long as what we do feels like it is of importance to me and that I can agree with it and it is uh, a part of my uh, values and my artistic expre expression. But that this all leads me to a kind of final question because um, I'm not really old but much older than you but we all have much younger people coming after us and I'm kind of curious what you think somebody who's 13, 14 now in this time and age how would they express their inner demons and do their own music? Will we see a rise of a completely new form of music or expression or something we have not f thought about before? Or would it be something similar to what we have done? What do you think about that? I think that um, the world is ready again for a new uh, way of expressing extreme music and ex extreme art forms. What I hope is that people will use the brutality in metal for uh, creating what I think is a really hard thing today which is to dare to hope and to dare to see a change coming and to to fight through this music for something uh, better somehow. Good way of saying it. I'm really um, looking forward to the day. I'm really shocked by something new. That's uh, my biggest fear is that I've seen everything and uh, from now on through my rest of my life I will never be surprised in an ugly way. I really want to be offended but I, I, nobody can do it, you know. So that's um, the sad part for me, somehow, to think that everything's done, but that's also always changing, and I just know that that's not true. But I, luckily for me, I don't know, and I will be very happy to see that uh, coming from the next generation, and hopefully they will offend both you and me. So I think that wraps it up. and. Uh, be sure to check out The Age of the Offended and also Witch Club Satan. Yeah.